asked my epsilon to draw this little picture. But what my statement is saying is that whether I pick 0.2 or whether I pick 0.01 or whether I pick 0.001, if I make some tolerance around the red line, am I going to be able to find some interval in the x direction so that if I stay in that interval in the x direction, all the y's stay within the upper and lower bound in the y direction? That's what that sentence is saying. Okay, and I arbitrarily picked point two so that we could draw something that people could actually see the separate lines for. But the idea is you don't want to just be stuck with point two. Can you keep making that skinnier and skinnier and still keep finding an interval of x's that will fit the y's into that interval? So now we're going to support that by doing some algebra and actually trying to find that some interval of x's will exist. And in these epsilon delta proofs, you always can start the algebra part by doing the following. Writing down your function minus what you think the limit is. Okay, you always, the, the middle part where you're trying to do your support statement. Once you write that down, then you start to clean it up. And if the limit is correct, you always are going to be able to factor out x minus whatever you're taking the limit to. So we're taking the limit to 2, I should be able to factor out x minus 2. You always will be able to. Sometimes the numbers won't be as clean as this one, but okay, so I'm, if I factor out 5, what am I left with? x minus 2. x minus 2. Okay, if your limit is correct, you always are going to be able to do that. And that's the key to being able to, to finish off the proof is once you get this, you're able to wrap it up with some statement, and I'll explain why. but it means the distance between x and a. So I over there have 5 times the distance between x and 2. And why that's helpful for what we are trying to do is that here's 2, okay, let me There's the number two. Uh, I always use my fingers. <laughs> All right, let's say where I have my fingers right now, it looks like I made a tolerance around two of a half. Okay, so any number that's in between my fingers is less than a distance of a half from 2. And the distance from 2 is 
is how you build your integral around two. It, it's the math expression you use to write down your whatever your tolerance are, is around two. So if I, once I factor out the x minus a part, then let delta represent the tolerance around x. Set delta equal to epsilon divided by 5. Okay, remember epsilon is my tolerance in the y direction. Then, when an x value is within delta of 2, minus 2 will be less than epsilon over 5, and f of x minus 3, which we said is equal to, okay, we already said my function minus 3 is equivalent to this. So if I make sure that I pick x's that are within epsilon over 5 of 2, then this is going to be less than 5 times my delta, but I set delta equal to whatever epsilon I pick divided by 5, and my function, my function's distance from 3 will be less than whatever tolerance I, I chose. Okay, so then my summary, I'll just write my little summary over here because I'm writing down the wrong board. Thus, I have, sh I guess we should need because I start off with B. We have shown that we can choose X values with an epsilon over 5 of 2. So the I picked epsilon to be 0.2, all right, then that just means stay within 2 fiftieths of 2, and my Y values will stay within 0.2 of 3. So just for example, if, if I pick 2.0399, that is within 2 fiftieths of 2. I plug it into the formula, I get 3.1995, that's less than 0.2 away from 3. But the 0.2 is arbitrary, I could have picked 0.2 to be anything, as long as I follow my little pattern here of whatever tolerance I picked in the y direction divided by 5, stay within that, and all my 
my x's will give me y values within whatever I pick for epsilon. Okay, if you notice with line, like we had a line, our function was a line, it's no surprise that the delta is defined to be epsilon divided by the slope of that line. So if you do have just one that's a line, um, that's you know, what you can do. If it's not a line, there, you still can kind of think along those, along that mode.